Hello friends, today we will be learning how to record the screen of the phone using the DU recorder. It is very simple and I am sure you will all be very easily able to learn it. Now on the screen you can see a link. Using this link directly you can download the required app or else you go to Google and search for DU recorder APK APK Pure. So if you search through Google, you can download this app through DU Recorder for Android. So once you click here, you get this interface. Scroll down. Scroll down in the end, you see the download button. Click here to download the app. Install it and it is ready to use. Same procedure can be followed using the bit.ly link and you can download the app the same way. You can see it's being downloaded. So once it's been downloaded, you can install it and it is ready now. So once installed, this is how it's going to appear on your screens. Now to start recording, you will click on this orange button and you will come onto the screen. Just see on the top right corner, there's a flash shaped button. This is a settings button and you can change the settings of the video with this. Now you can change the video resolution, which can be generally 720p. You can change the video quality with 4 Mbps is perfectly fine. Then just have a look at this audio record audio button. Now this has to be switched on always. Only then will your voice be recorded. So if it is not on, then please ensure that you switch it on. So just go once you open the video, once you start with it, just ensure that this record audio button is on here. Now you can find out where your video is being stored by, from, by this video location. Also, not close the app when you exit the floating window and disable the pop-up pop notification. This also needs to be kept in mind. Another thing, let us see here, this countdown to begin the video, you can see how much time you need. 5 seconds, 2 seconds, 10 seconds, that is up to you to decide. That also can be decided. You also need to click on this button to pause the recording when the incoming calls are there. Now another thing that needs to be kept in mind is this watermark. Please ensure that this watermark is always disabled when you are recording. Because if it is enabled you will get a small DU recorder written in the right corner of your slides while recording which I don't think so anybody will like. Now this brush here it enables you to write anything on your video whatever text wants to be written. You just click on it choose the color and then you can use it like here I have used the green color. Now decide what is the orientation of the video you want. You want it portrait, you want it landscape or you want it to be done automatically. So that is also up to you to decide. Let us try to record now. Now click on this square button or on the DU recorder button. These five circles will appear. Now click on the second white circle with four orange squares in it and go to the settings section. Ensure that all settings are done, the watermark is disabled, the record audio button is on and the other things as discussed. Once all the settings are done, again go back to the orange circle with the white camera in it. Click on it and again those four circles will appear. Click on the white circle with the red circle on it and then you will see this interface. Now click on start now and wait for the countdown to begin. Once you get to see the countdown, after one, you can begin recording. Now, let's say I want to record my voice over a PPT and change it to a video. So, what I'll do is I will go to the PowerPoint, then select the video on which I want to put on my voice. After selecting that, I will run the slideshow and on the slideshow, I'll record whatever I want to record. So, doing that, I can make my video, share it with my students or with my colleagues or I can upload it on YouTube. And hence, my purpose will be resolved of screencasting. So, thank you so much. I hope you have understood. This is, this is what is going to appear once the video finishes off. The recording is finished and I can share the video now. Thank you so much.